This video is going to be about how to plant lotus. Let me show you what I got. Got the box, came in with instructions on how to plant. You get a bag, like so, and it's got one lotus tuber in it, rhizome, with the name of the plant that's inside. This is real important because you know when you're buying a bunch of product and they all have some similar characteristics you don't want to confuse them later in the year wondering what one you're looking at when you see something you oh that's really gorgeous which one is it you want to make sure you've got it detailed and the fine print so before you ever pull anything out of a bag make you some tags make you some sticks that you're going to be able to put in there uh, best thing to do with these is you're going to want to put them down underneath the mud you're not really worried about seeing the stick and reading the name all year long. You can reach down and grab it. But the more these are exposed to sunlight, the uh, more they're going to fade. So if you keep it submerged below the mud level, uh, it'll last for three or four years, even with a Sharpie. So I've got myself ready. I've got some pots here. I've got some square ones. I've got some round ones. Obviously, the best one would be a round one. But the problem with round ones, unless you're buying a lotus pot specifically, a lot of times they're not long enough for the rhizomes. Um, I've ordered rhizomes in the past that were a foot and a half, two foot long, and they wouldn't fit in any of the round containers I could find locally. Um, this actually went the cheap route today. I went to a 99 cent store, and every one of these containers cost 99 cents. So I have an option of a round, or I have the option of these rectangle. Um, thing is the size of these are all such that they will fit in the rectangle and we're going to show you how to to plant it here in a minute so obviously you want to use good grade topsoil something heavy uh, something with a little bit of clay and if you can you don't want anything that's gonna be light and airy nothing that you're gonna buy at like Home Depot that's got wood chips or vermiculite or anything that's gonna float you want something solid to hold this and once the roots start digging in and grabbing it won't go anywhere um, the other thing is you don't really want fertilizer when you are planting lotus initially. Um, any fertilizer that's made by man uh, is going to tend to burn the plant before it starts getting a good root system and getting some leaves up, getting uh, established. So you want to start out with um, something that's either got nothing in it, or in this case, this is mud right out of the uh, system where my koi live. So this has got... Uh, koi byproducts in it and so it's going to have a lot of good stuff that the plant will need but there won't be anything to a degree where it will burn the plant so i've already taken these and you can see it was just a container about like this uh, and i've put a couple layers or uh, a couple inches of mud in there thing about this is when i'm done all of this space is going to be able to have water but i live in texas in Texas, we get to 100 degrees and then some. So you would have to go out and refill these with water every day, if not several times every day. So what I'm actually going to do when I'm done, these will all be in one larger pool, uh, a pool for me to watch. And, and I'm going to document these this year. So they're going to be in a pool that will hold uh, quite a bit of water so that I've got enough of a reservoir and volume that I won't have to worry about refilling it all day every day. All right, let's get to planting. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and plant the plant. Uh, first, I'm gonna start with long petal peach red. And I told you, I've already made these labels and I actually use a Sharpie. If you have a paint pen, that's even better. But you can actually use a Sharpie or a good long lasting marker. Like I said, if this is standing like this out in the sun all summer, it's gonna bleach to the point that uh, by about June, I may not be able to read it. But if I take it and totally submerge it so that all I got is that I know where the stick is, then it will stay and it'll actually last a couple years like that. It won't get to a point where I can't see it. So now I'm going to take the rhizome out. You've got to be very careful when you're taking these out. These little growing tips, the pointy parts coming out, those are actually emergent leaves. You break those, they will not come back. So you have to be very careful. It's also why these can only be shipped in February, January, February, March, when they're still relatively dormant. Once they start getting a growth spurt, you gotta be really careful. They're gonna get damaged in the mail. If this gets broke, this or these, you're not gonna have a shoot come from there. So you wanna make sure you're really protecting it. Now, obviously this is gonna grow this way as 
because this is where it was chopped off. It's going to go this way as a plant, but these are going to go vertically, okay? So I want to go into a corner almost like you would with a hardy as much as I can. You don't want to bend them to the point where you're stressing or, or worrying about breaking it. The fact that this is heavy, almost like clay mud, really what I'm going to do, once I get it where I want it to go, I'm just going to push it down gently, very gently, into the mud, leaving the growth tips above the surface. That's why the fact that this is mud and not dirt, it works really well because I can apply what I need where I need it. It's going to stay in place. And these are nice roots. So roots are going to be looking for food, needing to be used to, to hold on. So we're going to take and we're going to get it all like that. So now what you're going to actually see here is pretty much the only thing you see of the plant is what's coming up. And if we get some warm uh, weather, 80s here over the next couple of weeks, uh, 70s and 80s, this stuff will start growing. Uh, initially it'll be surface pads on the water, then later on it will go emergent up into the air for the aerial stuff. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do another one, that way we make sure that everybody knows what's going on. Once again, as we take it out, very, very gently, make sure we don't bang or mutilate those growing tips. That's the important part. Now, you can see this is a, a split where it's already gotten two, two pieces. This actually could be cut here if I wanted to. It wouldn't do any damage because you see this cut here, this cut here. You know, I could cut it here and make two pieces or I can leave it as is and just plant and let the plant take off. The less damage I'm gonna do it to, the better. So, but the fact that it is the shape it is, it's controlling where I'm gonna plant it. So I'm gonna have to go into a corner and push it down and you notice this one's kind of turning at an angle going back down. I'm gonna have to be careful not to have it going down in the mud. I still want it to find the surface. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it and do like this, push this down as deep as I can into it, push this down. So now we've got it like that. Now I'm gonna take this mud, I'm gonna start the bearing submergent process here. I don't care about any of this. There's no growth point back here. That's the old growth. Once again, I'm going to come in here, but I'm going to make sure I don't bury or damage the growing point. Now, once again, it's like, okay, making sure I've got my sticks with my names. Put them somewhere where I'm going to find them later. I'm actually just going to bury it in there so that I can see it. And there you go. Okay, so you can see I've set up a pool uh, while I just emptied out, cleared out, got rid of something that was in it. Um, refilling it with water slowly right now. Um, if this pool was already full, obviously we could just sit these in and submerge them. Not a problem. Um, if you are not using something that's the consistency of this product with like mud, if you're just using dirt, obviously as soon as you drop it in, you're gonna have some floating, some getting away. But at this point, we're, we're in no problem because I'm gonna do, set this one in just like the others. And I have a new home for seven new Lotus. So I should have, you know, an awesome display here in uh, about three months of flowers. Um, what's gonna happen is this thing continues to fill up it's just gonna start overflowing into them gently. So even if it was dirt, it wouldn't disturb a whole lot. Uh, but the thicker and heavier the consistency of the product, the product you're planting it into, the better.